right before Jesus was to be betrayed by Judas, he prayed and he asked his disciples to pray with him. He didn't want his disciples to pray for his sake, not that he would fall into temptation, but for their sake. He told them, pray so that you will not fall into temptation. As we know, his disciples fell asleep. They could not continue to pray. Jesus was betrayed by his betrayer up until death. And the disciples were made to stumble at his trial and at his death. They betrayed him. They denied him and they left him alone. They all fell into temptation. We should not think that we are any stronger than the disciples of Jesus. If we do not pray, if we do not earnestly seek the Lord, we will also stumble, we will also fall into sin, and the wages of sin is death. So many Christians think that they are saved because they have a Bible and because they can quote the devil scriptures from their Bible. They have almost zero prayer life. They only pray around the table, they pray before they go to bed, and they throw up a few prayers if they are in trouble. But they do not pray continually or earnestly or diligently. Jesus rewards those who diligently seek him, not those who seek him in a lukewarm manner. Are you diligently seeking the Lord so that you will not fall into temptation? Or are you like the carnal Christians who are always just about to be eaten by Satan because they are not keeping up their prayer life? May the grace of Jesus be with you.